Welcome back, everyone. I've got another match for you guys. Uh, this time will be Domi V versus Reno. Starting off with Domi V, on top we have Virtue, the Paladin. Oh, six move. Brawly, the Paladin. Relic, the Samurai. And Mystics, the Priest. Uh, first thing to note the odd faith values, I'm guessing. Um, are for 100% raise twos, which is honestly pretty important. Like missing a raise two sucks so much. So I'm sure you guys can imagine, or maybe you guys have seen, had it, have that experience, etc. It it sucks. Anyways, so virtue the paladin counter and two status proc swords, along with six moves. So he's definitely just gonna go go around and you know do his job. Um, both both of those procs are really relevant, right? Ancient Sword obviously with Petrify. Sleep Sword though, also. Sleep also very powerful, especially since, um, you know, makes this guy hit harder. This was just, you know, temporarily disabling a unit. It's great. And he's item support as well to help the team. And you know, that 6 move with item, um, is actually really nice. It means he can get where he needs to be. Do stuff. Brawly the Paladin. Um, very high HP martial arts user, basically. Um, I personally probably would have stuck with a monk for the extra point of speed and stats resistance from the chakra band, but this is not this is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. He'll be doing he'll be doing solid damage. He'll be, yeah. Um, samurai, overwhelm. Oh, fun thing to note: overwhelm is the only um, like support that boosts Murasame healing. Magic attack up actually won't affect Murasame for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but that is how it is. Like magic attack up doesn't like. You know, boost the effect of MA of the user. Um, but she is focused to, you know, further pump her MA and wish for emergency revival. Um, good uh, draw out skill suite. I think she's Chiri, Masamune, Murasame, Bizen Boat, maybe one other. And the priest, I, I like this priest. Um, all her offensive spells are boosted by Golden Hairpin or Black Robe, the elemental strengthening. Um, Pilgrimage means she only does even more damage over time. And then um, Short Charge, you know, Short Charge Holies. Like she has an effect of what, 17 MA Holy? So 272 damage Holy, I think? Pre Faith. With short charge, that's pretty nice, right? Um, to a 40 faith target, that's like a bit less than 200? Around 200? Point being, good damage. Right, you have either have holy for, you know, just single target like burst, or you have unavoidable AoE um, from either Ifrit, Rama, or Shiva. Alright, moving on to Reno's team. We have CD5 Holy's Archer, the Archer. Guidance, nin Guidance Ninja, the Ninja. Baron's Bard, the Bard. And Doku's Thief, the Thief. So, this is like a tribute team, so I guess, I'm guessing that's why you didn't want to like touch them and modify them further. Because honestly, this team could be better. Um, like, yeah, why not make edits to better, you know, to make the team better? And, like, I mean, this is kind of one thing, like, four, uh, like, four good units don't make a team. I mean, this team will do fine off the strength of these units, certainly, but, like, it, it can be better. For example, right, because, like, you're taking them out of context, and so it, things don't feel as right. Like, let's look at, okay, why did these two units have 50 faith? Because no, there's no faith-based like buffs or revival or whatever going on, so they could easily have 40 faith. Unless you're worried about ninjutsu, except oh wait, no one's used the the tons, you know, sweet ton, fu ton, mei ton in like forever. So why not just have 40 faith? Why not give? So I'd rubber costume for water absorb. Guess what? There's no water absorb on this team, so why not give him? Black costume, one because this gives him better elemental resistance, right? You have the th the awesome thief hapless black costume combo, and if he has black costume, then everyone else on the team can absorb Kotetsu from this guy, um, and 
the Baron's bard had earth clothes because his scholar had quake. Right? And also another reason for the 50 faith. So this way quake can better heal and whatnot. Right? He had a bit of earth absorb going on there. So like, it, it, it bothers me. Like, I don't mind that you're using these units. Right, because everyone's ever everyone steals ideas, right? I'm using the two and Qatar thing. I'm using the hidden knife ninja knife combo. What bothers me? I mean, okay, I guess it's because they're tributing, but again, why not just make them better? Anyways, um, I think Reno will win because his units are faster. They're both faster and they have better damage output than Domi V's, I believe. However, there's no faith based. There's no race 2 on Reno's team, which could be big, and possibly not a terrible amount of, like, status. Oh, uh, I think that, like, there's, like, Punch Art, and uh, there's two Punch Art users, and I think the Archer's item. So I guess the, um, the Petrifying Sleep procs won't be as problematic, but, like, eh, who knows, we'll see. Um, Reflect Ring does nothing against Spell Guns, so... Domi V's priest will simply eat more and more damage as the day goes on. Now Doku Steve has been dropped, but again, remember he is very fast. Yeah, it's easily fast, 11 speed. Uh, but, but you know, fast enough that he'll be back relatively soon. The priest, ooh, goes for a reflected holy. Onto the bard. For real. Good damage. Kagesogi hurts a lot. No status part. And oh, both missed. Two misses, courtesy of Feather Mantle and Abandon. Thief goes down. Or Samurai goes down. That is not a thief at all. Kotetsu? Ouch. Um, and yeah, things are not looking good for Domi V already. Reno's units being faster is a definite problem. Now, that said, it's a three on two. And this, this is what Domi V, this is what Domi V wants. They have all but one shot pilgrimage on both sides. Oh dear god, oh but look at that, see he's so fast, now he's got, um, was able to do double and the Murasame. So now, everyone in Reno's team is nice and healthy. Um, yeah, it, it, Domi V's team, it can't keep up. That's that's basically it. He can't keep up, and is now three on one. Never mind, it's a four on one and dead, or almost. Cause, dear God, that does so much damage. But yeah, um, one more gunshot or stab or something. Yep, there we go. All right, see you guys for round two. Round two will take place on map one twelve. Tiger, everyone's favorite map with giant walls in the middle or something. Um but yeah, um Reno's faster units were just slowly able to take sneak in an extra turn here and there, and because they all do so much damage, like it just just makes life difficult. Now that said Oh one that bar does fly, which is definitely interesting. Another thing to note is that the priest has some cover, right? Um, the archer was able to one-shot the priest, but Domi Z's priest now has a bit of cover because of the walls and can cast holy and summons and whatnot through, across, through the walls. Which would be very, very helpful. Um, because that priest dying for Domi was a gigantic problem. Um... I, I don't even know. I don't know what she's going for. Probably another offensive summon. I would think. And yes, it is a Shiva. Um, now, of course, we can come AI stupidity to. Oh, well, the archers hang really far back. Because, like, the priest is, again, is work making her way around the walls instead of just, like, camping um, you know, near a starting position and just. And people in. Dear God, that thief does so much damage. It's silly. 343. Like, how is that fair? Um. Fly means that bard can get, can be a pain in the ass himself. Um, 
Yeah, this not looking like this is like a 3v4 and Reno's still gonna win it. Cause Thief hits for a million. Uh the bard can finish off the priest. Ninja can move in at some point and do a lot of damage. Oh, the Dark Tides are gonna hit someone as well. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Absolutely devastating. Ooh, Kage Sogi? Doing work. Oh, adding don't move. Could be bad. Um. Thief goes down. Bard barely survives. But now the archer gets to take a shot. Can take a pot shot? And guess what? That's a lot of damage. And now the samurai goes down as well. Because, again, those units are very fast. Same heals for a lot. High potion, not gonna save that paladin. He g does get to survive another gunshot, but not much more than that. That is easily anti is easily anti sand sandbaggable. Um Ninja goes to finish someone off. Bard can probably kiku someone. And things are just not looking good, and the thief, guess what? The thief's almost back up again. Congratulations, damage split, but again, not enough. Um, yeah. This was totally one-sided. And yeah, speed is important, right? Like, yeah, that's all I can really see. Having fast units is important. Like, four eight, team four eight speed units really doesn't cut it anymore. Especially since you don't have, like you like, you don't have a good way to manipulate your enemies. Like, like right, no slow to. Um, that would help things certainly. You have Masamune with one unit. I can haste, but. Uh, but then, but even with haste, you're only then you're only on par with um, with like Reno's team because most of those units have ten speed. Um, but yeah, uh, Reno is about to take this one. All right, congratulations, Reno. You're moving on to round two. Domi V, good luck in the Netherworld.